Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 19 of Going Old School. And in this one, we're headed to the Kenworth dealer in Abilene with some trucks. Let's get into it. Probably going to swap trailers once we get to Abilene, too. That's kind of why I'm going back there. Anywho, if you remember, end of episode 18, we delivered over here. So I came out here, came over to Kenworth, got loaded. That's all you missed. So now we have to make our way to Abilene, which should be fairly simple. So we're gonna take a right. Now we could take a left too. I'm guessing there's a light though at this uh, intersection south of Kenworth. So take a right out of Kenworth and then we're gonna hang a left on 62. So left on US 62, which turns into 180. So we're gonna stay straight on that. Turns into 80, if I could write properly. And then, US 87 South to I-20 and I-20 East to Abilene. And then we'll pass these rest areas and it's gonna be this exit. So first exit after rest area. And then I know the way from there. It's gonna hang a left here. Come down the frontage road to Kenworth. And then when we swap trailers, just come right back here to our home base and swap trailers. I don't know what trailer I'm gonna use yet though because I totally forgot I have a the BWS oil field low boy that has some pretty cool cargoes for it. That being said, I've spent, I don't know, probably 10 hours painting a trailer that I feel like with that much time put into it, I kinda have to use it. I've never skinned a trailer though, so that's kind of why it took that long. Alright, let's zero the odometer out, 147 gallons, we're good to go on that. I don't know what time I set my... I think... I don't know. I know I screwed up in episode 17 when I set the time, because I said like 8.15 but I, you need to type in 8.25. So you need to do it in decimals. Anyway, why is my head bouncing around? I have the auto thing off. Oh, and for those interested, there's load info. 57,000 pounds. Get rid of all that crap. Yeah, so I think I set my time for 8 o'clock. It's like a 15 minute drive over here and 15 minutes to get loaded. Okay. Gotta love SCS cameras. Scuff the new trucks. for a slight second there and then I saw the uh, Lenner sign up here so we want to left at this light and that's not a turn lane
and this is the the point of the episode where I get frustrated for putting in the mod that has half mile long trains Yeah, so yesterday was uh, Tuesday. And I was going to record this episode then, but I got sidetracked on that damn trailer. And it's... It's not a hard process once you understand it. But it's time consuming for somebody like me with OCD and wanting everything to be perfect. Which when I hooked in the trailer, I'll, I'll briefly show you and then you'll understand. I'm going to go with the trailer I am is freight was better out of Abilene with it. that's where we would have come out. I'm glad I went the way I did. Leaving New Mexico. And just like that, we're back up to 75 miles an hour. Well, speed limit wise, we're not because I shifted in the wrong gear. the other trailer I was thinking about. The BWS oil field low boy. Has quite a few oversized loads. And this Pizder doesn't have oversized Actually, now that I say that, I'm pausing because I wanted to say that this truck doesn't have an oversized banner or flags on the front bumper. I could be wrong on that, but I'm fairly certain it doesn't. What the hell are you thinking about? Um, it does have a beacon I can put on top, so... 
I mean, it's the, it's the game. Do I have to? Do it? No. I mean, it kind of is what it is. Nothing different than if I did have that stuff on a truck, like in my previous series, and then when you don't haul something oversized, it doesn't just automatically come off. Right lane ends. Beautiful. Take a, I had to check. I thought those were regular combines in a cotton field. I'm like, wait, that's not how that works. I don't know why my camera is bouncing up and down. I have the auto head tracking off and my head hasn't moved. Good thing I double checked that, because I'd have ran into a barrier up there. I don't remember seeing a sign, but when I looked to the right and saw 87 South, I'm like, wait a minute. That's kind of what we need. So if you are uh, someone who watches the videos with subtitles, my apologies for episode 17. I apparently screwed something up. And I tested because BMAX commented. episode 17 and said he's from Italy and was basically bummed that there's no subtitles so I had replied and said that that had happened once before so you know just come back to it in a little bit and it should be fine well I got to looking into it more and 
I believe what happened. Okay, we don't lose this lane. Bottom line is when I was uploading that video, I had accidentally clicked on subtitles to edit subtitles. And then exited out of it. But apparently that completely cancels YouTube's auto automated subtitles. Because I went back to episode 16, which had subtitles on it. Went to edit the title and description, clicked on subtitles, and then exited back out of that and said discard changes. And uh, then when I went back to the video, there were no more subtitles. So apologies, I will know now not to click on that when I upload a video. I also haven't figured out what I'm going to do for streaming. I'm thinking about taking this weekend off as well. I say taking it off like I get paid to do this. I don't get paid a damn dime. But I haven't really figured out what I want to do exactly. So I don't know if I should put a pole out or what. ahead first now or I'm going to have a $500 wall decoration. And did I need to get a new wheel? No. But I was left home unsupervised. to see what time it was in Big Spring when we were there. serves me correctly it's like an hour and a half drive from Abilene to Big Spring well here come the rest areas 
could be wrong on that. That was a long ass time ago. That was 2005. I was. Station to Dias. That's the other thing I noticed. Abilene's south of the interstate. But yet there's no signs that say, like, Dias Air Force Base. And technically, that said Abilene was like 20 some miles, which this isn't even Abilene right here. I don't know, anyway. Beautiful. It's always nice to get a job that takes you right to the house. that up that bad. Oh no, we're all right. I mean, I'm further to the right than I need to need to be, but <clears throat> boom, green. Beautiful. We don't care about company job offers because we're headed back to the terminal. All right, Toby, get your shit squared away. Like I'm not, I'm not even moving. Why are you bouncing up and down? I think I may take that, uh, what is it, pitch, yaw, I, whatever the hell the one that looks up and down is. 
and turn that all the way down because I don't need to look up anyway. And I don't need to look down either, so. Okay, Ty, what the hell were you doing there? Got more concerned about the head tracking shit bouncing around than... this while I'm here just to a couple of things I want to double check something real quick just to confirm in my head also that I wasn't giving this information because I hate opening my pothole and shit not being right yeah bumper and blinker bars, and there's no nodes for flags, but there is a node for a beacon. And I think if it's on this sleeper right now, it's kind of bugged. To where it flashes through the sleeper, but we're not taking that trailer anyway right now. Anyway... Just wanted to confirm that there is, in fact, no oversized banner or flags. But there is a beacon. Plus, I got the truck service. would be cool. Notice how this looks like a garage. It'd be really damn cool if you own this place if you could actually get your truck serviced here too. What a novel concept, huh? SCS programmers. I guess I can just park right here. And if I did everything properly, once I select this trailer... I should, it should just automatically hook to me outside. Trailer manager. Let's check out this sucker. Look at that. This is the Bart Great Dane Reefer. And I said I'd show you quickly. So, I could probably throw up the template and everything and, and show you that, but... But bottom line is, like, all of this stuff had to be painted separately. So, like, the, the rails are the same gray. And then here's what took me forever. See those rivets? See those rivets? And then see these lines? Yeah, my, my brain had to have this G right at the second one, and then this had to be in between those rivets. And if you notice, it's the exact same on each side. And that's not how the template is. Like, the template is, this side is up here on the template, and the other side is below it on the template going the opposite direction. This here is uh, part of Bart's thing that you can put on there. Yeah, and then I had this down here originally. Now, I don't have to have this. I can take it off, but I kind of like it. But then, so then I had to move that up there. Yeah, so... Deciding what I wanted painted, what color, and all that took me forever. Actually, what took me forever was also making sure that this stuff was the same. And 
I would do this outside in the sun. See, I can barely see that. And then I would slowly go over to this side to see. Yeah, that's why it takes me forever. All right, Ty, shut the hell up. Let's just get the damn trailer. 95% of the people still watching right now don't give a shit anyway, so... Oh, use. There we go. Brain fade. Selected trailer has been attached. If anyone's wondering why I just didn't do this at Kenworth when I got unloaded, because if I'd have done it over at the Kenworth dealer, it would have said your trailer has been spawned at your garage. And then I would have had to drive over here, hook up to it, which is not a big deal. It's just... I was here, so this was a hell of a lot easier. And now, see how we're outside, and I can just pull up and get fuel. And there's what she looks like in the sun. Again, as I, as I do, my trailer wheels are the Peterbilt Oval matching the truck. Jasper wheel pack. That's the Bark Great Dane Reefer that will take you hours to configure if you want to do everything. So yeah, styling and profiling as they say. Now I need to decide if I want to... Let's get a load first, figure out where the hell we're going. Cargo market. Oh, and I forgot. I can officially knock out Abilene now because we've actually delivered here. Hot damn. And I'm going to put a, a counter up now that you'll probably see in the screen as I'm saying this. I thought of that last night. It'd be kind of cool because we started with 199 cities. So anytime I knock one off, it you know, just a visual. Some people are visual. You know what I'm saying? All right. Radioactive medical waste. I've already been to Houston, but that sounds fun. Oh, it's not coming out of here. Household appliances, Dallas. Been to Dallas. Don't need to go to Colorado. Clovis. Clovis. But if we're going to Clovis, that paid more, so... That's one I'd take. Junction. Oh, we haven't been to Junction. Maybe we take that since we haven't been to... Kind of liking that one, actually. That expires in 11 hours, so we have plenty of time to get over there. Because Swift is on the other side of the interstate. Although... That one's tempting, too, because that's kind of a hard spot to get to, but maybe. All right, I'm kind of liking the junction. Kind of like conjunction junction. Showing my age, huh? Although we're going to end up going through San Angelo again, it would be nice there's a flipping load to San Angelo. That'll be twice now we've driven through it, but haven't delivered. Oh, well, let's knock this one out. So we'll take this one. We'll pull up here and get some fuel. Actually, let's do this. Swift is over here. Okay, right where I thought it was. So... I don't even need directions over there. So that said, let's pull up here and get some fuel. Okay. What time is it? 2.08. Was it 8.30 when we left, was it? So almost six hours of our 11 hours. check my Toby settings after this too because it almost seems like something got dorked up in the settings like it's way more 
sensitive. I don't know. And if people are tired of me talking about it, uh, apologies. But shit like this drives me nuts. How I'm not moving my head, but it's moving. So it, it's stuff like that that I try and figure out. And I guarantee you, I'm not the only one that stuff like this drives them nuts. So, if through my trials and tribulations it helps, well then, perfect. traffic doesn't stop that I've learned before as I've ran into a, another truck turning here. turn there. Oh, actually I can come out of Swift and go that way and pick that road up too. Not that that's part of what I'm trying to do here is, you know, discover all the roads, but I mean shit, we're here, may as well, right? Alright, Swift, open up your damn gate, let's go. That's another question that I have, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I wonder if, like, the SCS developers, I don't know, have, like, come over to the States and just kind of checked out some of these distribution centers and whatnot and realized that not every one of them has a flipping gate. Cargo Marquettes. Take job. Right there. Nice. And I believe... Let's do this number just to make sure. Oh yeah, we can, we can spin this around down there because... Look at this little trick I have with the, my reefer. Oh, did you see the ass end go down? See those rear wheels come up? Now we just changed how easy this trailer can pivot because it's just going to pivot on that front axle. Our flatbeds at TMC used to do that. So much easier backing into spaces. Just dump the air on that rear axle. Although... Can I turn, go around this building?
No. Okay. Well then, let's do this since I screwed that up. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Hold on, airlines. Good thing we don't have cab extenders out, or just hit one. See how much easier that trailer pivoted? at 29 degrees. Okay, well that's different. I mean, yes, it'll pivot easier, but holy crap, that wasn't even moving back at all. It was just kind of sitting and spinning. Beautiful. Oh, put that axle back down. Then we'll pull the brakes. Shut the truck off and get loaded. And it's raining. All right. We're going to Conjunction Junction, so I'm going to come out of here and hang a left, maybe. Good lord, I'm going through some note paper doing this series. Oh, perfect, we aren't going to go through San Angelo again. Well, bottom line is I need to come out here and take 83 South. Leave Abilene. 83 South. That would be US 83 South. And then we just want to continue following the signs for 83 South. Okay, really? That's just 83 south into Junction. We're going to pass a truck stop and we're into Swift. Okay, well, I wrote down two lines, people, and I just set my pad on the floor. So, Godspeed, good luck. Well, it turned into a hell of a storm all of a sudden, huh? Oh, you want to see the other cool part about this trailer? We are lit up like a shit house in a fog storm, as they say. I could have actually put more lights on there. I just didn't want to take the time. I'll pull up so you can all see the the ass end. Oh, and look at my fuel tanks. They're little bombs. You know, ex-Air Force guy figured I had to Now what I should do is check, because I've screwed this up before. Alright, so that's right. And that's correct. Okay, good.
crap, it took us that long to get loaded? I mean, to be fair, it wasn't swift, so... It's plausible. I didn't see how much we weighed, or it doesn't feel like a whole lot. No, 33,000. 34,000. attention I don't think this furniture road goes all the way to 83 oh, that was a nice little quick rainstorm it does maybe I kind of want to check but something tells me there was probably a barrier there somewhere that wouldn't allow you to yeah that doesn't look like that connects anywhere over here check for curiosity's sake. Yep, no, it doesn't. Good. Now we know.
I was paying attention to that light and then saw that sign that said junction left. That's what I get for not writing down directions. It's all good, I'm only blocking one lane. And nobody's honking, so... traffic doing what AI traffic does. I'm surprised I didn't even get any damage or anything. As soon as I turn my high beams on, there's a car that's coming at me.
stop on the left. Swift is going to be up here on the left. Oh, actually, Flying J's up here on the left. Sign's not lit up though. Wow, that felt like a a real life no come on, dumbass. What are you stopping for? I'm not alright. Well, now y'all can kiss my ass. Yeah, that was like a real life instance there driving along, nothing lit, and you're like, oh shit, that appears like that could be it. And it's the same prefab, too. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit the drop axle switch. I don't know what the hell was going on there between that flashing line and those tires, but I completely lost. Okay, well, that's just... Now it's just being stupid with both axles down. I should have just left it. My, I don't know what the hell is up with my depth perception on certain turns in this game, but I did not think I was that far away from that line as I was backing up. I guess now I should look in front of me to make sure I don't hit this fence.
It's still green. All right, the light. The lasher's off. Unload. Okay, so Sim Dashboard is saying it's 8.30 at night. Let's confirm that. 918. So 918 after we got unloaded. Which we're still legal, 14 hour wise. And I don't believe we busted our 11 hours of drive time exactly because we had that long load at the other at the other Swift. So I actually think we'd be pretty good. All right, so you know the drill. Wrong button. All right, set in time for 0730. Now we'll check the job market, see what's coming out of here. And I can knock Junction off the list. Another one gone. Since we're in Junction, it'd be nice if there was something Laredo, McAllen, or Brownsville. Oh, right at the frickin' top. Anna McAllen. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna take some fireworks to McAllen. Yeah, we're gonna go through Laredo, but hopefully we can get something back there. It'd been nice for there to have been something all the way to Brownsville. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to drive up there, accept the load, and then I'm gonna have to back up back into one of these spots. And when you see me in episode 20, I will be staring at a similar scene, already loaded, ready to roll. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 19 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.